In this video, I wanna help you troubleshoot your slow ethernet speeds. Now, when I say slow ethernet speeds, I'm not talking about internet speeds, your Wi-Fi speed or what you're getting from your internet service provider. That is a completely different thing and that is your internet speed. You can check that at speedtest.net and there's different things you can do to improve your internet speed, but we're talking about ethernet capability, computer to computer communication through ethernet. That's what we're gonna be looking at today and that's what we're going to try and help resolve issues with. About a month back, we deployed our brand new server. I talked about it right up there in that video and that's a 10 gigabit server. It's working great, but I'm not getting exactly the speeds I should. So there was a different things I did to test and figure out what speeds I am theoretically going to get. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the types of ethernet cables. So I was doing some maintenance on my network server here and I noticed my speeds were really slow. We usually get about 300 megabits per second here in the office and I was only getting about 90. I kept doing speed tests and nothing changed. I logged into my router admin panel and look at that, we are getting 100 megabits per second internet according to the link speed. There's a bunch of different speeds you can get with ethernet. 100 megabits per second or fast as it's called is the base Ethernet speed, that's cat5 and below. If we step up to cat5e, we get gigabit ethernet or 1000 megabits per second. That's what most ethernet is capable of, but sometimes your hardware may not support it. In this case, I was using a cat6 cable, but for some reason it was just not showing up at full gigabit speed. It was only showing up at 100 megabits per second, which is why we were only getting about 95 megabits per second internet. If you are getting a speed that's capped at a certain amount, look at your link speed. That could definitely be a source of issue for you. Typically, the way you fix this is just unplug the cable and plug it back in, maybe restart the computer, and that usually seems to fix it. In my case, it didn't, and it was actually some weird compatibility with my cable and the server. It didn't like Cat6, but I swapped out for a cat 5 cable, worked perfectly fine. So we go back and check. We are at a gigabit speed. We go back to our internet speed, test and we are back at our 300 or so. So that solved our issue right there. So the first thing you wanna do is look at your link speed. Either do an internet speed test if you're not getting the speed you're supposed to or do a file transfer between your servers. See if you're capping at a certain limit. For me, that was nearly 100 megabits per second. So that suggested there was a link speed issue and that was the case. Now let's say you're trying to communicate between two computers or with your server. In my case, that was what I did a lot when I was trying to set up our new data server. We had 10 gigabit, but I was only getting maybe about four or five gigabits per second. So what I used is iPerf3. iPerf is basically a tool that communicates between computers and sees how fast they can communicate with each other. What you do is you set it up on your server side using iPerf3-S, and then you ping the server from your client side, iPerf3-C, and then the IP address of the server. That's gonna test the ethernet link speed between the two servers. Here you can see we are nearly a gigabit, almost pretty much as close as you can get to a gigabit. So in this case, I'm communicating with this server at full gigabit speed. Let me show you a shot from earlier when I was setting up the server. We were capping out at around six gigabits per second when we should be getting 10. So that's another troubleshooting step. Maybe something's not configured properly in the network settings, and that is why we are not getting our 10 gigabit. So check your link speed if you're not getting the speeds you're expecting. And if that's not really working, do an iPerf test. That will allow you to see what the max bandwidth throughput is between the two computers to hopefully give you an idea of where you need to troubleshoot and look for a bad connection. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If this helped you, feel free to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.